Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine. Healthcare today is November 19th. Early global data is now suggesting that this year's flu is likely to be a little harder across the world compared to before. This is being driven by an H3N2 strain that's a little tougher as well as a newer variant which our systems may not be as well adapted to. Moving on, a new study out of JAMA is suggesting that only one in five eligible Americans ended up getting a CT scan for lung cancer screening. They suggest that the number of individuals who could survive each year from improved screening would drastically increase over time, and they also make note that it's part of the reason why is due to restrictions around who is able to get CT screenings for lung cancer. Before we get into the last two things, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find a link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily news update, links to all of the articles, and you'll help support me as a medical student. Moving on, a new poll from Pew Research Center shows that the divide against vaccines across Americans continues to grow. According to the poll, only 63% of adults believe that childhood vaccines are very confident in preventing illnesses in children. The article goes on to break it down even further, but that information I think is better seen on the Substack. And lastly, a new study out of PLOS Medicine examines how many actual cigarettes are required to have an increased risk of death from smoking. Essentially what they found was that even increasing to two to five cigarettes per day carried significant health illnesses as well as a higher risk for cardiovascular disease and even heart attack and death. They also found that there were also some major benefits for quitting smoking with the highest benefits coming within the first 10 years. That's all the major news for today. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.